Today, we are going to be stealing the screen from this phone clock thing. I just like the way the vacuum fluorescent display looks, so I'm going to be taking it. The first order of business is removing these wires. I don't want them, you don't want them, but my garbage can does. Now that the wires are gone, I can take out the screws. Nobody wants to see this, so let's just speed it up. How about a little bit more? There. I've gotten the last screw out. Now is where you start to see the things I don't normally show in videos. You can see I'm really struggling with this battery cover. I decided that taking the handle of my side cutters to it would be a good idea. It turns out that they had no effect. Who knew? After that, I thought a better choice would be the metal tool that came with my iFixit toolkit. With quite a bit of prying, the battery cover came off. Inside, I found a battery, then proceeded to struggle removing it from its connector. For some reason, I was fascinated that the battery expired in 2003 and still resembles a new-ish Duracell. Anyway, let's get back to opening this thing up. I couldn't figure out what was holding it together, so I kept prying at it. Yeah, I really thought just prying at it would eventually get it to open up. I then went to the bottom of the unit looking for hidden screws. It turns out the screw was not hidden, I just stupidly missed it. Now that I've removed the screw, let's see what's inside this thing. And just as I expected, 80s electronic components. The first thing I decided to do inside was burn my fingers. Yeah, that's it, not desoldering, just burning my fingers. Okay, maybe I was desoldering. Here's another component that I want to keep, a micro switch. Before we can remove anything from this board, I need to take it out of the plastic case. This proved to be much more difficult than it appeared. I just couldn't figure out how to get it removed. Some say I'm still trying to remove the board to this day. Oh wait, I just removed it. Never mind what I just said. Now that the board is off, we can spread some flux in the solder joints for the screen. And remember, always spread your flux just as you would spread butter. Once I had the flux looking good, I took the solder iron to the joints. With some heat, the flux will make the solder good as new. After I got the joints good, I took some desoldering wick to it. Now that the legs are desoldered, I can pull them out with tweezers. Now the screen is free. The pins look a little messed up, but they'll buff out. Don't forget about that switch, because I'm removing it now. Remember the technique for applying flux. Now I can take the switch out. Looks like a switch. Okay, back to the screen. Let's peel off this foil and see what it's hiding. Huh, what do you know? It was made by NEC. I didn't feel like hooking the display up to an Arduino to test it, so I just applied separate voltages to it. It's a little confusing working with a display you don't have a data sheet, but hey, at least it still works. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more, consider subscribing.